All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about Pokimane, which is kind of insane. I feel like it's been a pretty long time, truthfully, since I've talked about anything that has to do really with her. I mean, I feel like a few years ago, she was involved in so many dramas, so many different controversies, so many different things, right? And now, I don't know, over the last few years, she's, uh, I don't know, maybe not got out of the limelight, but I feel like she's kind of over time progressively kind of chilled out and gotten herself out of trouble. But recently people have been pretty upset with her after her new product launch. I don't know if you guys even heard about that, but yeah, Pokimane just recently launched a new cookie brand apparently. Obviously it's kind of falling in line with all the other creators who are getting into all kinds of different business ventures, man. I mean, we've seen what Logan Paul and KSI do the whole Prime thing. They just sold like a billion bottles or whatever. Mr. Beast has the Feastables chocolate and Mr. Beast burger, right? Optimus has Optimus. I mean, we're, we're really up right now, bro. Now, but Pokimane apparently has launched a new cookie brand, right? Has launched a new, like, snack brand, and now people are pretty irate because after she, like, announced this brand and this company and showed pictures of it and whatnot, somehow people did, like, an online investigation and they've discovered that apparently, and this is only allegations, by the way, I don't think that's been completely 100% proven, but allegedly, Pokimane may or may not have scammed her fans by, uh, basically taking over a, like, Costco cookie brand, and then, like, spinning it off slash rebranding it as, like, her own cookie brand, and then jacking the prices of it up crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. This article is coming from Dexerto, and, uh, I mean, it, it's a pretty insane allegation, right? Because, let's think about that. If she did do what they're accused using or doing, that is kind of a shitty thing, right? You know, you, you buy a, like, Costco cookie brand, right? Like, some smaller brand or whatever, and then you, like, relaunch it as your shit and then jack the prices up, like, four times. You know, yeah, that's a, that's a little wild. But I think people also don't realize how common shit like that actually is, though. And really, we're gonna talk about the whole thing in today's video. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. Popular influencer Pokimane has ventured into the snack industry with the launch of her company, Minus Snacks, unveiling her own line of cookies named Midnight Mini Cookies. Pokimane's move follows the trend of influencers who have started to diversify income sources with various product launches. She joins the likes of Logan Paul and KSI, who launched Prime in 2022, as well as Mr. Beast, who established Beast Burger and Feastables. There's also the likes of Amaranth, who has recently spoken about some more unique business ideas. I don't think we even really need to talk about that, man. Uh, if you know, you know, bro. But Minus Snacks was announced just days after Pokimane teased the product launch according to, uh, uh, claiming to offer healthier snack options. In a statement on the Minus Snacks website, Pokimane said, quote, Most snacks were filled with things I couldn't feel good about, so we created Mina. The Midnight Mini cookies are described as made with deep chocolate with velvety white chips and sea salt, uh, and are being marketed at the premium price of $28 for a 4-pack, $56 for an 8-pack, and $84 for for a 12 pack. So, all right, man. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna come out and say, right, bro, I'm a little bit of a cookie connoisseur, okay? I'm a little bit of a cookie fan. What about these is supposed to be like better than a Chips Ahoy cookie, right? Or like an Oreo. You know what I mean? I, I can go to the store and I can get a whole big fucking thing of Oreos and any flavor I want, right? Peanut butter, mint, double stuff, whatever, toothpaste, whatever flavor Oreo has right now, right? For like, what, five, six bucks probably most? So these are like eight dollars for a fucking, you know, or $28 for a four pack. Is that like four packages of cookies or is that, I I'm, I'm assuming it has to be four packages because there is no way on God's green earth and in hell's hot hell that you're getting me to pay $28 for four cookies, but I guess the uptick in the price or whatever is they're supposed to be like a premium line, right? They don't have all the garbage ingredients that a Chips Ahoy has, you know? You, you eat that Oreo, you're giving yourself cancer, but you eat this Pokimane cookie, you're up, bro, you know? I don't really know, but... That's not really the concern here, okay? Because Twitter users, like I said, they started doing what they do best. They started looking into it too deep. And, uh, well, they found out some shit here. So this is all coming from a Twitter user by the name of Atlissy. Atlissy? I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but at A-T-E-L-I-S-I. -I. They did like a, a thread or whatever kind of uh, talking about everything here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just break down some of the big parts of it here for you. Private slash white label products are common, and I had an inkling this was the case with Minus Snacks. Seeing they claimed they were from Pacific Northwest, I searched for private label snack companies and found Creations Foods, a P&W-based company that specializes in healthier snacks. 
right on their page are cookies that look similar to Mana Snacks. Uh, Midnight Mini Cookies by Totsy. The link uh, to Totsy's website redirects back to Creation Foods. A search revealed they've been sold at Costco before. Sure, they have the same name. What about the same ingredients? Hunting down CF's ingredients was a bit of a pain. There wasn't much out there, but my Fitness Pal and Spoonful came in clutch. Here we see the nutritional info of CF's cookies versus Minus Snacks. It matches up nearly identical with one another. The distribution of the nutritional information, serving size, and even ingredients, and their order are the same. Unless we had a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, it looks like on the surface they're the exact same cookie. So, for those of you who are kind of unfamiliar with the business world and like what this all means, right? Uh, essentially, what has happened here, and this is not rare, let me go ahead and point that out. This is not rare, but what has happened is like Pokimane or her like business folks in the background were like, alright, let's launch a new snack line, how are we gonna do this? They found a supplier who's already making like the snacks or whatever that they're kind of looking for, which are these like healthy alternative cookies or whatever. They, you know, are what is considered probably like a white label brand, okay, which basically means it's a company that makes shit so other companies can take it and sell it to people, right? So they found this company that's making cookies or whatever and they either bought in or they like made a deal with them somehow and they just took their products and spun it off as Pokimane's cookies and raised the price on them and everything obviously because you know po you're, you're buying the brand because of Pokimane that's what the price increase really is supposed to be but like I said man this is really not all too uncommon okay I, this is this is a very fucking common thing man like this is like almost the equivalent of drop shipping in a way right she's essentially just taking a company's product and selling it herself I mean this is definitely not the first time somebody's done that but I can definitely see why people take issue with it because you gotta think these cookies have been sold at Costco right so somebody who wants a pack of cookies could have just walked into Costco and got the same fucking cookies for like three times less and I just want to clarify, right? Like, I personally, I don't have a problem with white labeling. I don't have a problem with people doing things. Because, like, realistically, that's what everybody kind of does. I mean, like Mr. Beast with Mr. Beast Burger. They're literally just ghost kitchens pretty much everywhere. Like, it works in a fucking, like, I don't know, like a McDonald's or something. It's just a ghost kitchen concept. It's not like he's building fucking franchise restaurants. And I'm sure Feastables, they probably partnered with a company to do that with. Maybe not, like, white label exactly like how Pokimane did it. But, I mean, I don't really think that Mr. Beast himself is Willy Wonka in the fucking chocolate factory stirring the big pots of fucking molasses around, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it's very common for people who are influencers and like, you know, they're, they're trying to expand their business for them to do things like this. But I definitely, I, like, I can't agree with the price increase, right? Because from what this whole, like, investigation is saying, man, like, I would have been able to justify it if they were, like, adding shit to the cookie that, like, actually made it worth that, right? Because it's supposed to be a health-inspired kind of cookie, a health-conscious cookie or whatever like if they were taking some other company's cookie and they were like spinning the recipe into something new and maybe like adding more healthy shit to it or like changing around the ingredients to make it different i wouldn't have a problem with that price increase and i feel like a lot of people probably wouldn't have a problem with that price increase but you know what we're seeing here is essentially just her taking other people's shit and then selling it for way more it's the same thing as like people who start watch companies and then they get 19 dollars watches off of alibaba that they sell to fucking goofballs through TikTok ads for $500 a piece, right? It's the same business model. It's the same fucking thing. But of course, you know, people found out. That's really all it comes down to. People found out what she was up to. They found out the supplier and shit. And more social user, me user media, uh, Jesus Christ, more social media users, Optimus, are also speaking up against the product with one highlighting the now higher price, stating, quote, Pokimane's new product is apparently just a rebranded Totsy Midnight Mini Cookie, which she sells for three times the price. Only difference between them is vitamin D3, $28 versus $9.99 for 400 grams. Scam? Nobody has really responded to the claims publicly. I mean, yeah, dude, th this is, uh, it's just not cool. J once again, to clarify, I, would, I don't have a problem that she's selling the Totsy Midnight Mini Cookies or whatever. That's not the issue. But when you're just putting fucking vitamin D3 into a cookie and then you're like, hey, you know, this goes from $10 now to $28. That's just not true. And that's just ridiculous. So I don't know. I feel like a lot of the backlash is people not necessarily understanding how these kinds of businesses work. And I think people really have in mind the idea that like, like I said, you know, Mr. Beast, when he's not making those videos, bro, he's in that Feastables chocolate factory fucking sticking his finger down into the chocolate and tasting it. And oh, 
this isn't sweet enough for my liking. Change the process, or, you know, that's not how that's going, man, but there is, I think, a pretty stark difference between, you know, running Mr. Beast Burger ghost kitchens or whatever, and people knowing that those are not really Mr. Beast Burger restaurants, and then, you know, creating a cookie brand where you're basically making the claim, too, that, like, you saw other products not doing well, and so she says they went and created these cookies. That, that's also a problem I have, right? It literally says on the website from Pokimane that most snacks were filled with things she couldn't feel good about so they created mina right obviously as we know they didn't create shit okay she maybe went into chat gpt and was like generate a business name for costco cookies right and it was like fuck it here's mina snacks and she slapped it on a shopify website paid a membership fucking got the drop shipped cookies from costco on there and jacked the price up that's exactly what happened here okay besides them adding apparently some vitamin d3 to the cookies by the way i just want to remind all the gamers and all the tier 3 subs out there who are gonna buy these pokimane cookies talking about oh well i need to get my vitamin d3 in for the day bro i just want to let you know bro if you go outside and you stand in the fucking sunlight for a couple minutes your body will naturally produce this for you for free you don't even have to buy the triple priced pokimane cookies to get your vitamin d for the day it's called go the fuck outside Look at the fucking wildlife outside of your house for a couple seconds. Let the sunlight hit your skin and just bask in it, bro. I don't know. It's just like, truth be told, bro, if you're eating cookies with a health conscious idea too, I don't know, man. Like for me, bro, maybe it's just me, but when I want to eat some cookies, it's usually because I just smoked and I'm not here, you know, oh, tee hee, I want two or three of these little health conscious cookies. Nah, bro. I'm a grown ass fucking man. Put that tray of chips away in front of me and let's see how quick I can get a stomach ache, bro. I'm not trying to eat health conscious cookies. I don't know, man. That's just my take. I know there's probably a lot of people out there that would like a product like this. I just, I don't know. For me, it's the pricing and it's like the insinuation that Pokimane was in like a team or something that created these. I mean, truth be told, bro, it just be open about the process. Like if you're gonna fucking do white label cookies or whatever, you, you don't have to write on the website, hey, we concocted this recipe with health in mind and shit. You don't have to do all that, bro. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of a funny little situation to talk about. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about Pokimane's new cookie company and signing out.